Imagine diving into the ocean, swimming alongside vibrant coral reefs, bustling with life. Now picture that slowly fading away. Welcome to Coral Doomsday, global warming's next victim. Our planet is heating up and our oceans are feeling the burn. But what's the real deal with our underwater hoods taking the heat? Today, we're diving deep into a groundbreaking study that sheds light on a silent crisis happening right beneath the waves. Who are the geniuses who just blew the roof off with this crazy discovery? We've got Joanna Figueredo, Christopher J. Thomas, Eric Delier-Snyder, Jonathan Lambrechts, Andrew H. Baird, Sean R. Connolly, and Emmanuel Hannert. These masterminds dropped a paper that's like a mic drop in the science world. It's called Global Warming Decreases Connectivity Among Coral Populations. And in 2022, they made everyone sit up and pay attention to how our oceans are heating up and what it's doing to our coral allies under the sea. Armed with supercomputers and ocean models, our real-life scientists have one mission. To predict the future of our reefs and find ways to save them. Home to thousands of marine species, coral reefs are the rainforests of the sea. But just like forests on land, they're under threat. Global warming is turning up the heat, and our corals are in the hot seat. You know how corals spawn? It's like a massive underwater party where tiny coral babies set off on an epic quest to find a new home. Super cool, right? But crank up the water's temp by just 2 degrees C, and it's like the ocean throws a massive curveball. Bam! Those little guys can't travel as far, and finding new reefs becomes a mission impossible. This makes it harder for coral populations to recover from damage and share their heat-adapted genes. Why does this matter? Coral reefs, apart from being pretty cool to look at, they're super important, like oceanic guardians. They protect the coastline from strong waves, giving fish a nice place to live in and provide food for them, like a supermarket, for sea creatures. Without them, the ocean's diversity could collapse. The study found that an increase in temperature leads to a 7% decrease in larval dispersal and an 8% drop in reef connections. But it's not just about distances. Coral babies or larvae are staying closer to home, which sounds good, but actually makes them more vulnerable. The coral reefs regenerate by having the baby coral larvae spread out and settle down in new places, which helps the reef grow back. But for that to work, they need to be able to move through the water to different reefs, like making friends across neighborhoods. If the water's too warm, it messes up their travel plans, and they can't make those connections to rebuild the reef. It's like if all the roads between towns were blocked, you couldn't go anywhere, right? Same deal for the corals. So, what can we do? Protecting coral hotspots, reducing local threats like pollution, and yes, tackling global warming are key. It's a race against time, and every action counts. Our coral reefs are sending an SOS. Will we answer the call? Let's do our bit and keep those coral connections stronger than your Wi-Fi. Share this video, talk about it, and let's turn the tide on Coral Doomsday. The future of our oceans depends on it. Thank you for watching. For the sake of our blue planet, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay curious and dive deep into conservation. See you in the next adventure.